All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got an exciting one for you guys today. So you guys probably saw the title of the video. You guys know we're gonna be doing a range test on this bike. But what you guys don't know is that you clicked on this video and we're doing a giveaway. Well, technically I'm not doing the giveaway. Kane Bill is doing the giveaway. But before I get to that, I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging too long, but I just wanna go over this bike really quick and then I'll explain how to enter for the giveaway before we go out and ride this bike. So you guys probably already know, but if you guys haven't been to the channel, I modified my Super 73 to a 72 volt kit. Um, this is a 5,000 watt hub motor that you can get from Custom E-Bike. And if you do get the 5,000 watt hub motor, you do get the 32 amp hour battery that sits right in this enclosure right here. But what doesn't come with it is this battery right here. So I ordered this from Powerful Lithium. I think it was like 700, 800 bucks. This is a 13 amp hour battery and it uses Molly cell. So it has a very good BMS in there. I think it's like 140 or 150 amp BMS. These are connected in parallel. So now we have 45 amp hours in total. So we're, we went from 32 to 45. So I'm really curious to see what our range is gonna be on this bike. But let's get into the giveaway because I know you guys are gonna be super excited for this. The giveaway is gonna be for this seat right here from Kane Built. Now they're doing a black Caterpillar seat, so it's not gonna be this exact one, but it is gonna be a memory foam seat. And I will say this has changed my life on riding a Super 73. I love this thing, absolutely love it. The best mods I did to this bike was obviously upgrading the power. Second mod is probably putting these motorcycle tires on so now I don't get any flats whatsoever. And probably the third best mod I ever did to it was putting the seat on here. I'm glad they reached out to me. I'm glad they want to sponsor this video. Super easy to enter. All you have to do is drop a comment down below, say whatever you want. You could be talking about the bike in general, the batteries, the seat, the motor, the power, whatever you wanna say, or the city that we're riding at in this video. Just make sure that you put your email address down below. If you do not put your email in that comment, you will not be entered to win. You guys only have a few days after this video goes live for a chance to win before they pick all the winners. And keep in mind, if you guys, for whatever reason, don't win this seat, they're gonna have two runners up. And that runner up is gonna be a 25% off and then the other one will be a 15% off. So you guys still have a chance of winning a discount off of their website if you guys were thinking about picking up one of these seats or any other stuff that they have on their website because they do sell more than seats over there. So just something to keep in mind, there's gonna be two other winners, but the main winner is going to get this seat. Well, not this seat, but your own. But that's pretty much it. That's all I really wanted to talk about. I don't want to be in front of the camera for this whole entire video. I'm pretty sure I've already explained enough to you guys already. So I feel like we just need to get on the bike right now and go ride it. And let's go see what the range is with both of these batteries. All right, we're out of here. We're starting out a full battery charge. It was like at 83.5. It was like 84.4. Then once I took it off the charger, it jumped down like a volt or so. But it's pretty much 100%. The charger stopped, we're good. Um, I did air up my tires pretty high. We went up to 30 PSI on the tires. Normally I run like 25 or 24 because I like having a little bit more of a comfortable ride. But once I switched over my seat to this cane built seat, um, I noticed a huge difference. Now we're not gonna be very easy on the throttle. Like I'll try to be a little bit better than I normally do. But for the most part, this is a range test. If you're gonna use this bike for public roads in the street, and having the time of your life with traffic instead of being over in the bike lane the whole time. Now maybe we might jump in the bike lane here and there just depending on traffic and if we need a lane split or whatever, but we'll just see. And I believe this video is probably gonna be a couple days of recording because it is gonna rain in about 30 or 45 minutes. So if it starts sprinkling at all on me, we're gonna head back so I don't get stuck in it because a range test means we gotta go pretty damn far. Why are you breaking? I swear, man, people cannot drive in my city. Come on, bro. Can you go? Go ahead, go ahead. All right, so this is actually probably the sketchiest section of the day already. We just left the house, but hey, I can pedal. We're good to go, even though people are gonna look at me like I got a motorcycle helmet on, like what this guy doing? 
but uh, I'm perfectly legal right now, buddy. No one can tell me nothing. We got the cops. Got the cops chilling. They looking. <laughs> they think it's a, a bike or a motorcycle because they going in there like they gonna pull me over or something. <laughs> and I was gonna run this light too. I was gonna go through the crosswalk and everything. I don't know where that cop went. All right, so let's just stay over here for a little bit just in case that uh, cop is gonna come back for us. So they were definitely uh, taking a look. Guys checking out the bike. It's like, hey, <laughs> I need to put my phone up here. So I say we uh, we pull over real quick and we go do that. So I'll pull in here in this little, uh, this bad little parking lot right here. I'm gonna do that. The Indian Market. Royal Indian Market. I should say but yeah let me get my phone up here so that means we got to add four miles onto our trip that's my fault all right so i got the phone connected now we're now reading our correct mileage so whatever we end up at we just got to add four that's all we got to do should be all right man why do i keep getting all these lights i think i'm gonna make a right hand turn because i don't want to be sitting at this light and I see more cops up here. Holy crap. Should I pedal past the cops? See if they'll say anything to me. All right, I'm a pedal. There's a bunch of cops. I'm a pedal. I'm doing 40. All right, let's actually go faster than that. Let's see. Oh, shit. They didn't do anything. <laughs> I don't even think they looked at me. Maybe one of the cops saw me, but they're all busy dealing with someone. They, they're putting someone in the back of that car. I don't know what the heck's going on. We're just pretty much in the road, staying with traffic, going technically faster than traffic because I've already caught up with traffic now. This is going to be worst case scenario range test right here. We are already down to uh, 80, some, 80 volts. It, it was probably going to go up to 81, but yeah, we're like at 80 volts, man. Going a little slow there, buddy. I'm going to pass you. I'm going to pass you. All right, so we're just gonna continue straight and I'm gonna try to avoid all these potholes. Holy shit, man. Look at this road. I've never been down this road and I remember why I never came down this road. I had a lowered Honda Civic back in the day and it was just all bad. And something I should have mentioned a while ago is that the cells that are in this 32 amp hour battery that you get from custom e-bike, they're not the best. You know, they're from China. They're not made very well. And I've noticed that my range has like degraded ever so slightly with the battery charging over and over and over. But it's going, you know, my Suron is still holding up that light speed battery I got. Those use high quality cells and those are awesome. Just like the cells in this top battery, they are freaking awesome. So one of these days we'll probably go with a powerful lithium battery in the bottom. We'll probably do like the 34 or maybe like a 40 amp hour or something. I don't want to make the bike heavier and heavier just to get like an extra five miles of range or something because the more weight you add the less you know you get and I, I want the bike to be comfortable at the same time all right so we're on shot oh crap oh too late all right so after doing four miles on here plus another four miles we're at eight miles in total and we're down to 80.5 volts so we lost four volts well technically if you want to say we started at 83.5 so we only lost technically three volts that's not bad. We're doing pretty good. Longest light ever. Now look at the traffic. Traffic's so messed up. It's all bad. I feel weird on a bike being in the middle of the road waiting for traffic to go. This feels absolutely weird. All right, now we'll floor it. Yeah! There is no bike lane on this road whatsoever. So I'm gonna get off of it and we're gonna go this way. Oh man, be careful. Stupid rain. I apologize if you guys are hearing some type of noise from my microphone because uh, I have a uh, speaker system in my helmet and the wind is like 
somehow getting in my helmet and it's clicking and clacking next to my ear because I think one of the cables is loose because I did tape it down, but it's making a lot of noise. So it's irritating me, but I don't know if you guys are able to hear. Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? Oh yeah, we made it. <laughs> Let's pedal through the intersection. Woo, I just hit a big old pothole too, man. This seat saved my life. It felt so comfortable. The only thing I felt like a little shock in my hands, but other than that, so nice. I'm gonna make it. Thanks truck for uh, taking forever to uh, make a turn. Appreciate it. There's another St. Mart that I worked at, legit. I liked it, it was cool. Man, so many people pulling out of like so many areas. Be careful guys, man. I don't wanna see none of you guys get hurt. I'm trying to do my best as well. I know I do some stupid shit like that Zeus bike. Man, we almost got that thing up to 50 miles an hour. That thing takes some balls to be riding it that fast on some skinny ass tires, I will say that. This definitely, hands down, feels way more stable and way more comfortable. I feel like at 60 miles an hour, this bike would probably be solid. Going over 60, maybe like 65, would start pushing it. Now, these tires are great, don't get me wrong, but uh, you gotta get them perfectly like balanced, like absolutely like perfect because you're gonna have a little lump in them. Like I have a slight lump in the front, which you can probably tell by my hands always moving. I try to adjust it, but it just, you can make it worse. You can make it better. I, I've just decided to leave it alone. I'm gonna pass people off pedaling. I should look at people while you pedal. Drop a one in chat if you're in the middle of this video watching, then I'll know you actually stuck around and watched and didn't skip to the end. So drop a one in the comments. I'm having a hell of fun just kind of uh, going out of the traffic. I want to catch up to that Camaro, man. That Camaro's going back and forth and out of traffic. You can see him. But I know as soon as we start full throttling this thing, we're definitely going to be uh, losing range quick. Now, under throttle right now, we're just kind of holding a steady speed. We're doing, uh, we're at 76 volts. Not too bad. If I let off, we'll probably go up to like 78 or 79. Maybe they're just driving fast because they're trying to beat the rain. It makes sense. I think I'm gonna get in the bike lane though so we can pass all this traffic. I could lane split, but I think I'm just gonna, gonna do that instead. Hopefully no one behind me is turning. All right, I'll get over here so the people behind me can uh, get in the turn lane and turn so I'm not blocking anyone. I hate being that asshole. I don't wanna be that person. There you go. All right, so 7.7 .7 miles. We got 78.6 volts on here. So we're not doing too bad, plus the four that we need to add on to that. So we're looking at almost like 12 miles. Oh my God, I gotta be careful going around this. There is so much debris on the side. This is ridiculous. The reason why I stayed in the bike lane, check this out. Look at all this traffic that we're probably gonna pass. Oh, that's a girl driving that Carmel. She like, she trying to haul ass everywhere. We out of here. Bye Camaro, bye Camaro. This is sketchy. No one turn please, no one turn. I don't recommend doing this. Been doing this for a while. Okay, asshole. Oh, okay, another guy. Thanks man, thanks. Really appreciate it. I almost wanted to kick their car. Just taking up the damn bike lane. All right, 78 volts. We did another mile. I've always noticed on every single time I do a range test video, like the first like three to four volts go pretty damn quick. And then it takes a while for the rest of the battery to go until you hit like half battery. And then I want to say at like 65 volts to 60 on like a 72 volt setup, it goes very quick after that too. So once you start hitting like I say like 66, 67 volts. I kind of let off and I, uh, I don't ride as hard anymore. I love the fact that I could just leave all the traffic in the dust from a light and I wasn't even full throttle. I was like half throttle and I just left everyone behind. It's funny as hell, man. All right, so we got two bikers on the side. What's going on, man? What's going on? Bye, man, bye. 
That car, I don't know if they were gonna stop or what. They just kept going and going. It scared the shit out of me just now. Like, what the hell? Dang, everyone at Costco, you gotta get your gas. Guess what, buddies? I don't need gas, suckers. Oh, damn. Ow, that pothole is big as hell. <laughs> I did not see that until last minute. Holy crap, let me adjust my helmet. Oh my god, dude. Seriously? Fucking asshole. You know what's crazy is that same intersection, two bikers died because they were going and a truck pulled out like that and they pulled out like way sooner than that. They're probably going a lot faster than I was, but they both got killed because they both hit the truck and slid under it. Scary as shit, man. I mean, I know this area very well i know this intersection so like i expect it but it's just kind of stupid when they still do that all right so 10.1 miles so that means 14.1 miles 77.4 volts Ooh, starbucks sounds good but they look close what the heck yeah they definitely look close starbucks sounds hella good right now no one hit me because it's green and everyone's just like sitting here braked for no damn reason so I'm not trying to die. All right, so we're gonna take this way. I go this way sometimes just to kind of roam around and film videos and stuff like that when I do my e-bike reviews. You guys don't see this part because I don't really include it. I go the back way, but we'll probably be uh, heading up to the street where I do my e-bike reviews. And it is absolutely getting worse and worse up top, man. It is gonna rain like any second, I know it. I kind of want to do some like off-roading I used to do that when I first got my bike. We would go over there and kind of go off road, but this is kind of a range test and I know I'm going to be going a lot slower over there. So we're going to just stay in the street. I honestly think our average speed has been about like 41 or 42 miles an hour. Now I'm like full out. We're doing 51 miles per hour. That's insane. Absolutely insane. I'm surprised we're doing 51 miles per hour with uh, not a full battery. It's pretty good. I'm only going this fast because I got a car behind me the same distance as the car in front of me. So I'm just trying to keep up with traffic and make sure, you know, I'm not the bottleneck here. I've never been down this road. Let's check it out. Just in case I want to do some e-bike reviews on this road. I don't know. It's a little flooded back there. But hey, we got a little thing. We can go off-roading and stuff. So some more off-road stuff. It goes that way. It looks like it goes to someone's house. I wonder if you can actually go back that way. <laughs> just kind of keep riding and you end up in someone's yard. They're like, hey, what the hell? Get out of here. Um, I do need to bring up the fact that I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video, but so this seat that I'm sitting on right now, you're obviously going to get a similar setup from the company. Oh God, I got to go around this crap. But um, the thing is, they are taking all the email addresses that you guys leave down in the comments and they're going to put them, hold on, oh my God, I got a bug in my helmet. It's flying around or a gnat. They're going to put them in the drawing and then they're going to pick three people obviously two of them are runner-ups one of them's going to be the actual seat but that's how they're doing it i'm not doing the drawing like whatsoever i'm just going to be the person that tells you guys who won once they let me know and then they're going to contact you shortly after i make the second video telling you like hey like this person won this person won so what's up over here never been in this neighborhood i'm just kind of roaming around now I guess this is going to give us a little bit of mixed riding, I guess you could say. It's a nice little uh, area over here. It's not too bad. Yep, I've never been over here. It's a nice area for some houses. I wouldn't mind living out here. I don't know where the dead ends are at. I don't know where exit's at. I just know my house is that way somewhere. So we're just making our way this way. And I think it's probably going to be the last thing we kind of roam around and do because we ain't trying to get rained out. Oh, okay, so that is a dead end over there. So let's see what's over this way. Oh, and I also took regen off this bike too. I don't know if I told you guys, but the last video we made on it, I had that on and I absolutely hated it. So we got rid of that. Can I go down this way? Hey, yeah, look at these houses, man. I need to look this up. Like legit on my uh, computer, Zelly or whatever. And I need to check this out. They even got a bike path right here, but there doesn't look like there's a way to get up it. You'd have to go to this other thing. Oh, it doesn't even go to anything yet. It just goes to someone's uh, 
backyard, I guess. <laughs> That's interesting. All right, maybe it's gonna be a bike path down the road. Now, this is something I've been thinking about getting that little pink thing they have in the back. I need to get one of those for, uh, for my yard in the back to put all my bikes in until I can sell them. Cause man, we are struggling selling bikes. Uh, I will say the aerial rider is gone and the uh, Explorer bike is gone, that big, nice blue one. And then the YYG, that bike's obviously been gone for a while. But uh, so far so good on bikes. I still need to get rid of those beach cruiser ones. I got them like more than half off, like 60% off the regular price and they only have like 25 miles. Hey, I finally found the exit. <laughs> I feel like we were in that neighborhood for a hot minute. Let's go, baby, let's go. Am I gonna make it? Oh, God damn it, no. <laughs> Wasn't even close. Absolutely not even close. So far, so good. 14 miles on here, another four. That's 18. This says 76 volts. Lennar Homes. I did look those up, actually, because that's the next thing, man. If you guys keep supporting this channel, watching these videos i know i don't have a patreon i should get a patreon but there is links down in the description if you ever want to donate to my paypal um, cash app or anything that's over there that you guys have that you guys want to support the channel much appreciated because uh that's kind of like the next thing i want to do is get my own house but i need something that has a garage because we got all these bikes so we're probably gonna be filling up that garage that's why i can't really live in an apartment because it's gonna mess up our whole YouTube strategy because then I'm gonna always have to go back and forth between my parents' house to go either get a bike or make a review. It's not gonna work. We out of here, baby. This is full throttle. See speed limit, 50. Oh my God. <laughs> we gotta make sure there's people behind us to get the hell out of their way. So look, this is where I do my e-bike reviews. When I come off that thing and then I come over here, and then we do our little uh, brake test over there. So there you go. But the street I'm trying to get to, I think is this next, uh, oh, not this light. It's the next light where the gas station's at. A guy on a bike died out here. So it just, it's all around bad in my whole area. So I'm always trying to be very careful. And we're going uh, against the wind. So that's why we're only doing like 46 miles per hour. I wish we can go faster. Our voltage sag is looking at 71, 72 volts or 71.9 roughly around there i was gonna run for it i was gonna make a run for it but you know what it's all right so this is a grizzly marketplace it's actually a very nice gas station i wonder if they have burritos a burrito sounds good i'm hungry but i did order pizza at the house so it's all right i got i got food <laughs> i'll be all right i meant to check the voltage while we were sitting there but uh it's my bad i didn't check and i got a truck behind me so once we get somewhere, I'll pull over and we'll see where we're at. But I think we're probably at like 75 or 74 volts. That's gonna be my guess. All right, so now that I let off the throttle, let's kind of let it settle a little bit. Yeah, so we're at 75 volts. It's gonna jump up there, we're at 74.8. Not bad. Let's at least get this down to 72 volts and then we'll call it. And then we'll see what our uh, range would be for uh, half the battery. Oh, this guy get a flatter one. Oh no, he's just pushing the bike. They both looked aired up. That sucks, man. Shit happens. I know it. I think since we've been doing this YouTube channel, I want to say we've got four flats since we started. And I'm going to be real, that's not bad. I mean, it does suck when it happens, especially if you're miles away from the house. You're literally pushing it until you can get someone to give you a ride. That's pretty much like all you can do, really. Um, I've never been farther away from the house and probably I would say 10 miles and my buddy couldn't give me a ride and it was when I first got the Super 73 RX well this bike actually thinking about it I'm riding it right now which is completely stock my first impression video if you go back and look at that I was like 10 miles from the house somehow I was able to limp it home because it was a front tire so I put all my weight to the back like this and I made it I don't know how but I made it it sucks though, man. It's not fun, but I will say we've been doing the channel for two years or something like that. I think we've been doing pretty good for two years too. Like I was expecting once I started getting a lot of traction to like 5,000 subscribers, like, oh, we are like cooking. We were like making so many subscribers quick that I even Dylan Thompson in his video like mentioned me and stuff because he was talking about it. That guy was really checking out the bike. 
he was like, oh shit, I need to cop me one of those or I'm gonna steal one of them <laughs> once he finds out the price. It's so funny doing these um, e-bike reviews and when I get ready to sell them, like I'm having a hard time as I've been telling you guys, Honestly, half the time trying to sell these bikes, it's because people don't want to pay over $500 for an e-bike. So when you're buying a brand new one for a thousand, that makes sense to some people. But then when they start becoming 2000 plus, no one wants to buy it. Oh, I'll pedal, I'll pedal. I was pedaling in front of that cop. What's he gonna do? Oh, there's another one. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? They can't tell me nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh if they came back. And then I'm getting to my house and I'm like, what happened? You followed me to my house. Cause I'm, li I'm literally like right there. I'm super close, but I'm trying to get this battery down to 72 volts. So I'm kind of staying in the neighborhood just in case it starts raining. Oh, clean Honda. That's turbo too. Man, you just missed the cops, brother. You get a state ref in no time. All right, that was full throttle right there. Now I'm kind of letting off and just chilling. Again, guys, worst case scenario you're ever gonna get in this situation. The only other worst case is if I took this out in the country and just pegged the throttle 100%, had no stop signs and just went for miles and miles. That would probably be worst case, but this is like the second worst case scenario. All right, so now that we're at a, getting a voltage sag of about 71 volts, we are now looking at an orange battery indicator over here. Oh, that's a ST? Is that an ST? Oh, those are so clean. My buddy had one. I don't know who that was, but he put his hand out, so I just kind of gave him a little nod. I don't want to take my hands off the, the bike because it was kind of late notice, so I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't ready for it. No, car, no. <laughs> uh, I mean, they're going fast. It's all right. I give them a pass. Some people will pull out, even though I'm like, I have enough room to brake, don't get me wrong. I don't want to break, but half the time they just pull out and then they just go super slow on purpose. Like they want to be an asshole. This guy, not an asshole. He's moving. I can smell his gas. He was on the throttle so much. <laughs> Ooh, is that a uh, 370Z? Oh man, all the cars are coming out tonight. What the heck? Well, I guess it's not nighttime yet. I got my visor on. It's like 80% tinted, so it looks darker than it is. But it feels so nice having it down. I don't have to worry about the wind hitting my face and stuff. Woohoo! The roads are still a little wet. Could be some oil puddles that you don't know of, so I don't want to be too stupid, but man, I love this bike. I love it. I think the next thing I just want to do to it one of these days is we'll buy a Sabaton 72 150 or a 200 controller once we maybe get like the lithium power uh, battery for the bottom and get rid of the 32 volt. I'm sorry, we get rid of the, oh my God, water. The 32 amp hour battery that came with this bike. If we got rid of that, then I can do a whole different setup and we'll have so much more room. So I think that's something I might do once we order a new battery, but not anytime soon. I'll probably order the controller and the battery at the same time because both of those take about a month to come. The controller comes from China, the batteries are custom made. That's just how it goes. All right, I should probably go a little slower. Holy crap, oh my God, my, no, my bike is trash. My bike is absolutely trash. Sorry, I wasn't trying to go into your lane car. I just, I didn't want to get my bike all dirty. I just wiped it down. This whole ride, we haven't went through any puddles other than little small ones. And of course, <laughs> I go through one big one at the end. All right, guys, so uh, we're almost there, but we're not there yet. I'm thinking we might have to do like, I don't know, man. We're gonna have to make a nether loop around going, I don't know, doing something. So our voltage sag right there was 68, now 69. No cutouts, no nothing, still nice and nice and powerful. Let's see what our top speed is. I'm sure you guys would wanna know what that is as your battery goes down. Now we're almost pretty much at 50%. Um, our top speed, with the wind, keep that in mind, about 47 miles per hour. Dang, that guy's still walking the bike. Maybe he did have a flat. Oh, that sucks, man. That sucks ass. When I let off, we were at 72.5 volts. So I'm just gonna make one little loop around here one more time, and then we'll call it. Oh, another cop. Oh God, it's a sheriff and I'm pedaling. <laughs> 
What are you gonna do, Sheriff? I'm saving the environment, even though I know there's gonna be comments of people saying, you're not saving the environment. Battery powered is even worse. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are almost at the house. The last voltage sag I saw just on that pool right there was 68 volts. It's gonna jump up to about 72 volts and something. But that pretty much means we are at half battery. So let's head back to the house and see what our range is. We are back. Man, even though this is such a nice seat and it's probably the best seat I have on any bike that I have in my garage right now, and I'm not just saying that just for the video because it's a giveaway at the same time, I still cannot be on these bikes for like more than I feel like 30 miles because it just starts hurting without a brake. I don't know how people do trips on their motorcycle. Maybe it's more comfortable. I don't know. But anyways, um, I was just trying to distract you with the time because I was waiting for the voltage to go up and we're at 72.4 volts. It's probably going to jump. Oh, there we go. 72.5 volts. Now we did 22.5 miles. We add an extra four onto that. That's 26.5 miles, which means we would get a solid, probably 50 miles of range out of this bike guaranteed if you were staying in traffic going with the the flow and staying you know at 40 miles an hour or so but keep in mind though when you get to 65 volts you're not gonna want to be full throttling it anymore you're gonna be nice and easy on it you can still reach your top speed but you cannot hit the throttle full out or it will probably cut and then you're gonna have to either power it on and recycle it or you're gonna have to reset your battery or something like that so just something to keep in mind, but man, that means I can get a solid 50 miles of range out of this bike going across town in traffic and not using the bike lane. So hopefully you guys liked the video. Again, make sure you drop a comment, whatever you want to say about this video, like you always do. Get your friend to do it. Get your mom and dad to do it. However many people can sign up, all those emails will be put in, but you can't use the same email. Just keep that in mind. It has to be different emails, and it can't be the same YouTube account over and over and over with different email accounts. So just keep that in mind. But, hey, enter to win because this is one of the best seats out there. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and we'll keep riding this bike and doing more videos on it. Later. Yeah, you like the Super 73? Do you? Do you? Do you? Say something. No? Okay. <laughs>